Hi and welcome to the video. So today I'm just going to show you the difference between the free version of Photop and the paid version, just in case you're wondering exactly if it was worthwhile um, your hard-earned money um, paying for the upgrade. So here I am in the unpaid version. So this is the standard free version that you just get if you went to photop.com. And as you can see, we've got adverts down the right hand side, which is the primary way of the developer to earn some kind of income from people using it for free. Of course, the passive adverts down the side, which should be used to now from lots of other free sort of um, platforms on the internet. It's pretty standard um, way to generate revenue from otherwise free software. So if we go to the account button at the top of the in the top menu bar, which you can see is red, indicating that it's not a paid subscription, we click on that. We can see this is what Photop. Um, this is how Photop officially differentiates between the two. So they say the free version it doesn't cost you anything, of course. Um, it has all features and half a gigabyte of P drive. Now P drive is their um, cloud storage, so it's basically half a gigabyte of free online storage for your files, templates, etc. And the premium version is all features. You get five gigabytes of cloud storage, no adverts, which is obviously the main one of the main benefits. 3,000 AI credits per month, and I will go on to this in a minute and explain exactly how that works. So um, if we hover over, actually, there's a little tooltip that appears. Remove background costs one credit, magic replace costs three credits, and I'll go into that um, in a second. Two more steps in history. So that's if you make a mistake and you have to undo or we'll go back in your in your history to kind of find, find out where you went wrong in something or whatever, you just get to do that for twice as twice as far back um not sure if that makes a huge difference to your workflow but anyway so let's go on to the um pricing so as you can see here for a single user it's eight dollars for a month and then you get a choice of 90 days and then a year for 15 and 50 dollars respectively now what's important to note here is this isn't a reoccurring fee so if you pay for 30 days eight dollars after that 30 days is up, you won't get recharged $8. There's no kind of contract commitment. It will just revert back to the free version and you'll have to pay for another 30 days. So that's a good thing because you're not committed to any kind of um, contract. If you do decide to just pay for a month, you could pay for 30 days, use it for what you need to, and then you won't have to pay again unless you choose. So that being said, let's go to the image we've got here. And let's say, for example, we want to remove this fruit at the side. There's a load of ways you can do it, obviously, but for the sake of this, I'm going to use the Magic Replace tool because this is one of the tools that you do get charged for um, credits if you had the paid account. But on the free account, you have to watch some additional adverts. So if I just select that, make a selection around that, and let me just click the Remove tool here in the top bar. Now, it comes up with a message at the top saying, this is a premium feature. Go premium for $5 a month. Um, which is slightly misleading because it's it's eight dollars a month unless you go to f pay for a year and then the equivalent monthly cost is less. But anyway, um, or watch two short ads to do it for free. Now I'm not going to watch these ads now, but you would click OK and it will bring up two adverts back to back that you watch through, um, and then afterwards it will it will go ahead and run that function. Now, if you don't see those, I've seen quite a bit of um, feedback and comments from people saying that when they click that, OK, no adverts come up and it doesn't do anything and it doesn't work. Now, 99% of the time, that's because you've got some kind of ad blocker installed that's preventing those ads from appearing. So therefore, it will prevent the Magic Replace tool from working. So um, in that case, you just have to make sure that you've disabled your ad blocker. So that's the premise of that. And... It's kind of annoying, but you know, it's still technically free. So let's go over to the paid version. So I'm logged in here to my my own sort of photo account. So you can see straight away, no adverts down the side. This is what I use to do all the tutorials in because I don't want the side being cluttered by adverts and I want things to work as smoothly as possible. So as you can see, the accounts button in the top bar here is now green, showing that I'm logged into a paid account. And let's go and do the magic replace tool on this fruit as we were going to do a minute ago so now i'd highlight it and click remove and it will say processing and then it will just do it hopefully we get the result we want there we go now that's used up three ai credits and so if i go into the account now and click on ai credits 
you can see this is how you keep track. You get 3,000 a month for a monthly subscription. So you can see in March so far, I've used 21. Now using the Magic Replace tool uses three credits. So that isn't 21 times I've used the Magic Replace tool. It's much less than that because every time you use it, it uses three credits, whether it gives you the result you want or not. So it's still quite a lot, but it's just to bear in mind, you don't get an infinite amount. Now, if you use um, like remove background um, feature, um, which I'm not going to do here because I've covered it in loads of videos, but if you use the remove background feature, that uses one credit. Um, but again, just to um, just to make you aware, and it doesn't seem to matter what size part you use the magic replace on, as long as it's under its, um, I think it's a thousand twenty-four by thousand twenty-four pixel maximum area it will just cost you the same three credits. So I've used it again. So now if I go in there, uh, credit spent 24. Okay, so that's the main benefit I can see of having the paid account, apart from obviously not having the adverts down the side, which may bother you, it may not bother you, but it's really using the AI tools, mainly the Magic Replace, which is super useful. Now, one thing I can suggest is if you, can't justify or just don't want to keep paying repeat payments for the um to use this tool more efficiently it might be worth just if you've got a few projects or a few images that you feel like you're going to do a lot of work on that you would use the magic replace for and you think it could be really useful then it kind of it makes it a bit more makes a bit more sense to kind of group some of these projects or images together um, then go to your account section and if you can afford it just just pay for like 30 days just as a one-off because remember this isn't a repeat subscription it doesn't charge you as like a direct debit or whatever you buy 30 days and after 30 days it just reverts back to the free version so you're not committed to more than that amount so my only suggestion is if you've got loads of stuff you want to use magic replace on save it all up just pay for the 30 days if you can and then just use all your credits across those projects instead of doing it a little bit here and there because if you've got a lot to do in the magic replace tool it is going to get pretty frustrating having to watch two full adverts every single time you want to use it but if you're only using it for the odd thing or two then it's honestly no real pain watching the adverts it's just um if you've got a lot to do it does make it a little bit less efficient and that's really the key differences so it's up to you whether you want to pay for it or not of course or if you can or not but I just thought I'd make this video to highlight the difference because I know that quite a few people have been wondering exactly how it impacts it.